me some natural light today because the sun's finally come out in England. Yay! Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Last month we made, well I made, you didn't, but I feel like we're a we. I made a video called Things I Learned in January and everybody seemed to really enjoy it. It's actually one of my more casual videos I've made, so maybe that's the key here, just to make relaxed, cool videos about stuff I've done. Maybe I should just start vlogging. <laughs> so the idea is I tell you things that I've either learned or things I've discovered or things that I like. So it's kind of like a favourite and let's all learn something video. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about is something called Hand Up, which is a startup business in San Francisco. It's a service which gives homeless people a means to support themselves and it gives them a verifiable way to ask for donations from people. And I think you'll agree that if you pass someone who's homeless on the street, you know, you want to give money but you worry that that money is not going to go to the right place. So what Hand Up does is that it supplies homeless individuals with a little card, like a business card, and then they can hand this out to potential donors. This gives the donor a link to a website, which is where the individual has a profile. They can give a little bit of information about what it is they're saving for, maybe their achievements, their goals, perhaps they're saving to pay a phone bill. I just think it's a fantastic idea and it's using very simple technology to support people who are in need. And you just don't via text. The individual has to then go to their local support centre and that's where they pick up their donations in the form of maybe it's gift cards, medicine or the support centre will help them pay phone bills. So you just know that all of the money is going to the right place. Hand Up is only something based in San Francisco at the moment but definitely go and take a look because I think it's a really fantastic business. Very very exciting news. The Back to the Future high top Nike power laces might become a real thing. I'm sure you've seen Back to the Future 2 but if you haven't I'll just click here. They're basically the coolest trainers of all time that self-lace. Nike put in a pattern to actually make this technology and in Back to the Future 2 they go forward to 2015 so it would just be absolutely perfect if they bought out the power laces next year. Blake Bevin, who is also based in San Francisco, lots of San Francisco based stories, she has already designed and created her own pair and you can go online and fund her Kickstarter project. So you potentially could get these power laces before even Nike bring them out. Either way, they're very cool and I want a pair. This month I have reconnected with Humble Bundle. It's a website where you pay what you want for bundles of games and I got a really cool bundle of point and click adventure games. I know that point and click adventure games might not be the coolest but I really enjoy the narrative and I like to find things and I think that's probably because as a child Where's Wally was just there on my bookshelf and I loved it. The game I've been playing this month is called The Book of Unwritten Tales. The script is ridiculous. I am a gnome called Wilbur Weathervane and I have to get this ring to the Archmage and then there's this elf who's wearing not enough clothes who's like gonna help me out definitely down the line. I'm learning how to become a mage and I am having to find potions for my spells. If you'd like to see a gaming video or some gameplay, it's not the most action-packed game in the world but it's quite a nice story so let me know. Oh I have a new toy this month. It's a Tassimo coffee machine. It's really Really nice to just go down and just pop a cop one pop a pop a well pop a capsule into the machine, press a button, and hey presto, I have a coffee as if it's straight from Starbucks or Costa. And I actually think my capsules are from Costa, and also I'm hoping it will stop me spending a horrific amount of money, which I do at the moment in coffee shops. So now I feel like I've got my own little coffee shop downstairs in my kitchen. So that's great. Other favourites. This candle doesn't look that exciting, but watch, when you light it, I'm hoping you can see that, but the bottom half of the candle changes colour as the flame burns. I have absolutely no idea how it works. It's called a magic candle, but I think it's really cool because at night time when it's sort of like by my bedside, it's a little bit like a night light and it's, it's quite relaxing. When I've burnt it out, I'm going to slice it open because I'm intrigued. There's clearly like a little LED light in there or something. I just wonder how this triggers that. Is anyone missing Sherlock here? I am. I miss it so much. I actually rewatched season one this month and it's just sad. Are you watching True Detective? Is it good? Should I watch it? Will it fill the Sherlock shaped hole in my life? What else? Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team. <laughs> I loved the Lego movie. There are some moments in it which 
it maybe feels a little bit slow but overall it's wonderful and if you did play with lego when you were younger then you'll just adore the script it's so funny it's like listening to a group of kids playing with lego oh can you pass me a two by four or oh no 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 not that color i don't like that color i need i, I just need green <laughs> and those little bite-sized snippets of conversation is what they've used in the script and i just think it's charming question for you because this is irritating me i just need you to tell me what you would say in the comments all right. In my hand is a pile of Lego or Legos. What, what, what would you call plural Lego bricks? I would say Lego, but I've heard people saying that they'd be like, oh, hey, cool. You've got so many Legos. What? No, no, that's wrong, isn't it? What do you think? Once again, I hope you enjoyed this things I learned video for February and I guess I'll see you again at the end of March with something very similar. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, share the video, give it a like if you want, why not? And um, I'll see you soon. Bye!